No, I don't know. No, that was because of the comment. I mean, at least the mind that I was talking about. I don't know. I don't know. Moore Musical Arts Center's Brian Recital Hall. Please take a moment to note the nearest emergency exit. Please make sure that all cell phones and other electronic devices are turned off. Also, no unauthorized photography, audio, or videotaping of this event is permitted. Thank you for supporting the programs of the College of Musical Arts.
program was Tanya Leon's Alma. Um, the kind of thread running through this piece is a little bit vague, wishes, memories, dreams. I'm trying to portray a lot of imagery up in the clouds, thinking about all kinds of ethereal things. And this piece, Alma, was written about a spirit that is taking its shape as a bird and floating through it. Um, so I hope you got a lot of bird imagery through that first piece. The next one is a big contrast. It is Toshi Ishianagi's In a Living Memory. Um, it was written for the Kobe International Flute Competition, which is maybe the biggest flute competition in the world that takes place every four years in Japan. Um, and it really showcases the range of kind of the loud and fast extremities that the flute has been striving to get to. So here is uh, Toshi Ishiyanagi's In a Living Memory.
was written to be played alongside. This poem was written by Fred DeGuire, um, a poetry professor at Virginia Tech University, where the flutist Elizabeth Crone, who the piece was commissioned by, is the flute professor. So the poem is titled Wish. I wish those tall ships at Africa shore had dropped anchor to plant crops there, sugarcane, tobacco, cotton, and coffee. Instead, they filled the hungry bellies of holes with Africans and set sails wanting nothing from that big place that wasn't diamond, gold, ivory, flesh. I wind the clocks back and turn the ships around, not a single bullet, whip, or cutlass. Sound to deafen our ears for centuries. No Atlantic road of bones from people dumped into the sea to form a wake. <laughs>
American composer. Um, and this piece was originally written for violin and then with the help of Mary Holzhausen was transcribed for the flute. And it was written um, after the passing of her teacher. So this is another one of those. It's called Memory. It fits in the memory kind of sphere of this program. And she wrote to her professor, I wish you could hear the tune in my memory, which sounds like my painful cry out of your name in our Cantonese dialect. I expressed my deep sorrow in the music to remember your fatherly mentorship.
next piece on the program is um, the biggest one by my estimations and also just by time. Um, <laughs> it's Samuel Zeman's first sonata for flute and piano. Um, Zeman is a Mexican-American composer currently on faculty at Juilliard. And um, this piece, I just really love it. And it's on the program because it gives me memories, not because it actually has any actual uh, ties to memories, but I have so many memories of listening to my favorite flutist playing it. Um, I played the second movement on a recital in my undergrad, so this is kind of a reminiscence to that. And it's one of my favorite pieces in the flute repertoire, so I hope it becomes one of yours. <laughs> Thank you. 
Texas. He's in the back. Thanks for coming. <laughs> um, Dr. Sanchez for, you know, the five years of undergrad and the two years here. I, challenging or maybe crazy, wild, fast, um, they always say yes. <laughs> um, Dr. Shrewd, um, thank you so much for being here and for all of the, of the help that you give the doctoral cohort and all of that. And thank you all for coming. 
Okay, the last piece on the program is Adam Skomal's The Abduction of Scheherazade. This piece has no connection to Rimsky Korsakov's Scheherazade, um, so don't listen for the melody, you won't find it. It was actually written um, because Adam Skomal, during his master's degree, was trying to get a girlfriend, um, which I found out last night researching this piece. <laughs>